Years ago, when an unknown singer named Tiffany hit number one, she was just 15 years old when she recorded the song. Let's rewind to 1987, and I think we're alone now. They don't understand, and so we're running just as fast as we can. Gumby and the Outfits. Yes, it was 1987. In that music video, you may have noticed she's singing from shopping malls. A brilliant marketing strategy they came up with because the record company didn't give the song a lot of support. Many concerts at malls across the U.S. and it worked. It helped Tiffany connect with young fans and took I Think We're Alone Now to number one. One of my favorites with me now is Tiffany. Tiffany, it's a pleasure to talk to you. Hard to believe it's been 35 years. When you hear that and reflect back, you've done so much since, but when you hear that and look back, what are your thoughts, your memories? Oh, I'm beaming. I'm smiling. I love <laughs> it. It still makes me happy. I'm grateful. Um, you know, I rock. I think we're alone now. Still now out touring, you know, been touring this whole time on and on and on. So, you know, for me, when I hear I think we're alone now and when I play it, it makes people feel so good. There's something about that song that I'm forever grateful. It makes people really happy. <laughs> you, you have a new song, I Like the Rain. We're going to play in just a moment. But I did want to ask you, um, the mall idea. It is genius because that's where I was. That's where everybody was. And you literally saw your fan base, is that true, grow in front of you? I did. I mean, the you know, the problem, which wasn't really a problem, was leaving the mall because everyone was getting, you know, it was it's getting too complicated. There was too many people. So we moved into venues. But there was something wonderful about the mall tour. It was so intimate and I had, to, you know, got to eat pizza and meet new people and lifelong friends. So, I mean, you know, if I hadn't had the mall, uh, really rescue my career, if you will, because they were going to cancel my album and there would not be Tiffany. Uh, so, you know, that's where I hung out anyway at the mall. Yeah. It made yeah, sense. Yeah, me, to me too. Acid wash jeans and all. I had similar hair. The song, as you know, was huge. It was featured in the popular sitcom 2, Full House. Check it out. I think we're alone now. Doesn't seem to be anyone. Tiffany, the characters on Full House were loving it too. What do you think when you see that as well? Oh, it is so, it really is. I mean, again, it brings good memories back, you know? I'm, to, you say 35 years, it's like, whoa, where did oh, time go? But it doesn't feel that long. Yeah, I mean, and I'm you've been still recording. rocking a lot of shows, like I said. <laughs> exactly, right. exactly. You haven't stopped, by the way. Your 11th album is coming out next month. It includes the new <laughs> single, I Like the Rain. Let's listen to part of it. And Tiffany, there's no doubt you are an excellent performer. Do you like the writing process of it too? Oh, I love it. Yeah, I'm very proud to say I'm a lyricist and you know, how much I contribute to the albums now. I've grown up and that was really my goal is to be able to talk to people through my music of what's going on in my life, the things that I'm seeing, what I'm influenced by. So Shadows, the new album coming November 25th, Ooh. So I'm so excited. Finally, um, you know, really has all of my therapy, if you will. I call mm -hmm. it my therapy songwriting, and I really love it. You know, I'm here in Nashville, Tennessee, and to be you know part of the community of songwriters, and to finally be working with some of the songwriters that I've worked with since I was 14, um, and to be part of their family, if you will, in the songwriting community is is a big honor for me. It was something that was made a major goal for me. 
Absolutely, and you mentioned being grateful, and I think 2020 really reset everyone with the global pandemic, with COVID hitting, with yes. lockdowns. You decided to turn this into a positive in terms of cooking. You had always cooked, but you decided to come out in public and do it, right? I did. I started, you know, missing my family so much, like we all were. And I, my family's passed on. So I started cooking grandma's recipes to make me feel better and sharing them with fans. And then I had a cooking club called Let's Food with Tiffany that I started. Um, and it's just progressed from, from there. Cookbooks coming next year, um, co-partnership co cookbooks coming at the end of the year, uh, meeting new people in the community and building uh, Let's Food with Tiffany. So excited, I'm thrilled. It's, you know, it's become something that now I'm really pursuing. And I think food and music go together. Tiffany, thank you so much. It's been Come a pleasure. On.